You were right, Cap. Terrigen was powerful stuff. Who's there? Welcome to the video, my friends. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. Today, we're going to check out Marvel's Avengers, which, full disclosure, I was sponsored a key by Square Enix, who is the publisher, and it's developed by Crystal Dynamics, Idos Montreal, and Nixus. Of course, as always with these analysis, first look videos of new and pretty impressive games, we're going to be running max settings 1440p and have our analysis tools over the top so you can see my CPU usage performance and frame drops or frame stutters, which there are many. There are many. There, there definitely needs some performance fixes and updates in the future, but we'll go over those during the footage that we'll see throughout this uh, analysis. And a basic rundown of the system specs we'll be running today will be the Ryzen 9 3900X 2070 Super, all running at stock on stock coolers, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3000 megahertz memory, running on an M.2 SSD. Now, I have had a quick read through the Steam reviews, uh, which are very positive, but the negative ones say about crash issues. Of course, we have the frame timing issues that we mentioned before, which if you can see on my graph there, it says frame time. And then below that, if a spike appears, it's having serious frame timing issues and resulting in stutters, which happens quite frequently and seemingly for no reason. It shouldn't really do it in those situations, but it does and causes major stutters. Personally, I've not had any crash issues yet. I did when it was on my hard drive, my normal hard drive, but as soon as I moved it to my M2 SSD, the crashes that I was having completely disappeared. I had the same issues with New World, though, during the preview of that. When I streamed it, I had nothing but issues, switched it to my M.2 SSD, and it was smooth sailing. So maybe if you've got it on a hard drive, that could be the problem with these new games. Just so much information, a, a hard drive is just not fast enough. And it's more dependent on using an SSD, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I am i don't know these things, but there's something to put out there, maybe. Uh, as for the frame time issues, that, yeah, definitely, I think uh, it's, it's going to be a case of maybe if you're really interested in the game. Because as far as story goes, and animations, visuals, of course, it's a gorgeous looking game. Uh, voice acting, uh, the, it, it's mind-blowing. It's, it's great. It's up there with the top, with the best of them, really is. The, the voice acting is amazing. Um, you've even got uh, Nolan North in there voicing Tony Stark and Iron Man, which is, you know, you got Nolan North. You're in for a good time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's just the little things like performance, crash issues, and keeping in mind the specs I'm running this on, 1440p, and I struggle to hit 60 FPS. Yes, I'm maxed out. You could tweak some of the settings to lower them. I also made my FPS unlimited, so it could run up to the 165 refresh rate for my monitor, but it, it just barely, barely touched... 60 uh, average well the average was about 60 ish 62 fps throughout my play of what i did play and record for you guys here so you know 60 is playable but um i get more fps on other games but i guess this is a big single player thing there is a multiplayer component which i haven't tried this is purely just analysis of the single player campaign but i will get you examples of the frame stutter here the frame timing issues with with the game so a lot of those reviews like i said did mention Maybe waiting off a, a month or so for purchase to, you know, see if there's any performance updates to fix the frame time issues and any crash bugs that may be actually there uh, persisting for, you know, it doesn't matter the hard drive you're on and things like that. So hopefully these issues are all ironed out. Even if you're not a Marvel or Avenger fan, I think you'll love this game as far as story goes and all that. I mean... Hulk himself, they've, they've just, they've nailed Hulk and Bruce Banner, the character, the actor who plays uh, the voice for Bruce Banner, it was so good. Holy crap. Dr. Banner? Oh, no. Um, Highway 9, Highway 9, he's about 20 miles, Highway 9, if you take Highway 9, you can go stop it, then you probably could just do s what sorry. What are you talking about? I've spent a lot of time um, as the as the big guy. So Utah, the old shield base. Resistance has to know what to do. It really puts you in the story when they've got real good voice actors 
QTEs, as far as gameplay goes, there is quite a lot of QTEs. Not lots that you're going to be like, oh my god, and not another one. But they do, they do happen. Well, maybe you will, not another one. But they're not, they're not too heavy. They do happen mainly in boss fights so far. Uh, normal combat is kind of like the uh, the Batman games or the the Spider-Man game that came out on PS4. It's very similar to that. The normal combat, uh, you do have level up ability uh, where you can have skill points to spend on new attacks and things like that. There is also gear you can pick up and find in the world and equip to your character to increase your power and things like that. You do get to play as the other the Avengers. Obviously, you've got your main character there that you play as, um, but you do get to switch out and play as Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Black Widow. Um, that's as far as I've played. I think that's who I've played so far. So, yeah, you don't just get to play the, the one character. It mixes all characters in. You get to fly around as Thor and Iron Man and do some really cool, epic fight scenes. So, when you're actually controlling it and it feels just like it does on the movies or in the comic books or the cartoons so it's um it's it, this feels like it's done for fans by fans it really does as far as the actual gameplay goes and the story and things like that i think it, it's done well but yeah it's got it's got performance issues on pc that's for sure so i'd wait until there is some big performance improvements frame time and especially is is sorted out it's um i'm actually pretty hyped to carry on playing it even with the frame time issues um, but they can be pretty severe. We'll show some on the screen as we uh, as we go on here. I'll, I'll try and zoom in on the frame time and show the actual gameplay and how bad it stutters. The reasons that I don't know. Um, I hope I've not talked too much about it and I've kind of got my point across. But um, hey, it's a good game pretty much in summary. What I'm saying is it's a good game. It's a great game. You can't go wrong with it at 49.99 British pounds on Steam or whatever your equivalent is. Just at the moment. If you want to go PC, there are performance issues. You are going to get frame time issues and you may get crashes. Like I said, I haven't had any crashes on my SSD, but I did have crashes when I was on a normal mechanical hard drive. So, uh, and like I said, I, 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 I did drop it to 1080p at one point and I gained maybe 30 FPS on average, which isn't bad considering it was still maxed out. I could probably lower some settings and get it up to the 165 refresh rate maximum. So, you know, totally doable if you just wanted to play it for the story and graphics didn't matter. But hey, hey, here, we all are bad to graphics. We got to pump that maxed out and see if we can get the most out of our games and uh, and our builds that we do have. So, yeah, you can put, you can totally do it and play it. But uh, it looks so good at 1440p maxed out. It looks so good. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to deal with the frame timing issues. But if that's going to put you off big time, definitely I'd wait a month or two to see if they do fixes i feel like i've repeated myself a lot and i hope i got my point across this one i've just like i felt quite passionate about this one because it's it's avengers marvel i loved the the films smash that like button if you enjoyed this analysis bit of gameplay showing off the frame stutters it does have issues it's not perfect uh, in performance wise but uh, gameplay wise and things like that other than the qtes it's enjoyable definitely a good story good voice acting and uh audio design is very nice animations visuals the characters very very detailed so you can't go wrong unless you want to wait a bit for some performance fixes and then we, that's pretty much it pretty much it um not much else to say really uh, other than i love you all and uh, don't forget to leave a comment and discuss this with me have you played it did you buy it did you refund it was you disappointed or was you pretty uh invested like i seem to be with this that's why uh, i thought let's cover it after the beta Hmm. Oh, man. Leave a like if you enjoy the content I create and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this analysis on the biggest, latest, best looking games. We should have Crisis Remastered coming up next, I think, is the big game. And they have Will It Run Crisis mode, which will run it and really push the hardware. So I expect 20 FPS on my 3900 2070 Super System. But hopefully we can get our hands on a 3070 from Asus at some point and we can do some benchmarks with the new 30 series cards as well so keep an eye on the channel for those some really good stuff in the future and of course remember i love you all and i'll see you peeps next time bye jersey